16 weeks ago, we brought home three broad-breasted turkeys to the farm, and today is the day they go on to fulfill their ultimate purpose. Butchered that white tom turkey, kind of used yesterday as a trial run, and today we're going to finish off the other two birds. We got up a little earlier hoping to beat some of the heat of the day, even though we are here in the shade. It, uh, it got hot quick yesterday, especially when one of us is having to wear the baby. I mean, one of us, I mean my wife. But all in all, I think that process went really well. We kind of got our process nailed down a little bit. I did bring my uh, chicken plucking machine over here. But really for what we're doing, I think it's just easier to hand pluck. Even though it is time consuming, I think that one, since we can't dip the birds to scald them, or at least not the tom, we're gonna try the hens to see if we can dip them in the pot. Um, since we can't dip them, we're having to just pour the scalding water over them and just brushing you know, the feathers off, hand plucking them. I don't think the plucker would have done a very good job since you know it may have been more likely to tear the skin, which since this is gonna be Thanksgiving dinner, we certainly don't wanna do that. We have moderate rain starting in 20 minutes. Count. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five. That's it. The pops gonna be okay. Sure, yeah. Right there. Turkey doesn't fit in the pot, you just gotta make do with what you gotta do. Now that this whole process is done, from raising the turkeys to butchering them and having them bagged up and in the freezer, I guess the only thing that's left to do is eat them, I think we've decided that we are going to start raising turkeys next year. We figured out kind of toward you know the end, and we're gonna we're gonna opt for a heritage breed rather than a broad-breasted breed. At least that's that's our plan at the moment. Um, we'll have them, we'll raise them. We kind of figured out once the turkeys got bigger and they were intermingling with the chicken flock, we kind of like having these things around. It adds a little bit of intrigue to uh, I don't know. You got a whole bunch of chickens out everywhere, and all of a sudden, boom! There's a a couple of turkeys. Uh, it's it's kind of neat to look at, and of course you know the colors are fun. They're different than any other chicken that we have. And I really got a kick out of watching them act like turkeys because, you know, I'm a hunter, I've turkey hunted. You understand how hens and toms are, you know, that's the goal. You try to understand how hens and toms interact with one another. And it's really funny to watch the, you know, two hens and the one tom that we had act just like wild turkeys do, which makes sense, but it's, I hadn't really thought about it. To watch the hens kind of, you know, beep, 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 do that, you know, what they do and, uh, that Tom would fluff, you know, get his, he'd fan out and he'd, you know, those wingtips drag on the ground and he'd gobble and spit and drum. It, it was just a lot of fun. And I think, I don't know, we're going to opt probably for a heritage breed 
I don't know when we're going to get them. This is, you know, some time down the road, but still do what we're doing. We're going to raise them up or raise a few of them up to eat them, but we'll keep, you know, some hens back, one of the toms back. And, you know, the plan is, you know, to raise them, to eat them. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll sell them or I don't, I don't know what we're going to end up doing, but we figured out that, you know, the butchering wasn't too bad, uh, you know, for the three of them, which three is not a lot, I understand. And it did take us two days didn't take us all that long we just figured out it was way too hot that one day to try and get them done i didn't think the process was that bad megan agrees and this was of course her idea right if we're getting an animal it's always her idea but i think having one of those slate blue or bourbon red turkeys or a few of them running around here i think it'd be a lot of fun now if you decide that raising turkeys is something that you want to explore doing i guess there's a couple of things to consider one they do get much bigger than a chicken and they're they do eat more food than a chicken now raising three of them to butcher we already had a bunch of meat bird feed left over from our meat chickens. Uh, turkeys, I guess, technically need something that's a little bit different uh, than meat chickens, but, you know, it's what we had. It's all we could really get, and, uh, you know, when they get out here in free range, they're eating all the same stuff that, the, you know, our regular laying chickens do anyway, so we weren't all that worried about the feed. Uh, I didn't think the feed bill itself for the three turkeys was that expensive. I'm sure if you're raising a bunch of them, it could get uh, a lot higher, but, you know, for what we were doing, I wasn't you know too bummed out about the feed bell and of course we have turkey in the fridge to uh you know it's more one turkey is equal to a lot more chicken so you know if there's a trade-off of course one turkey's gonna eat more food but you get more meat out of it i don't know whatever if you've raised meat chickens before and you have you know some of that equipment some of it you could probably reuse but you know as you could tell what we were doing trying to scald the bird well you got to make sure you have the right size pot uh plucking them if you don't have a turkey size plucker, your regular chicken plucker is probably not going to work all that well. And then we could put basically 30 or more chickens in our biggest cooler that we have. You're not getting really more than three turkeys in there. And if you do, it's going to be a really tight fit. So, you know, some of that equipment may carry over. You may have to buy some of it special. I guess that's the name of this homesteading game is you try to make do with what you have. And that's what we did. And, uh, you know, we used a gambrel to hold the turkeys up rather than try to lay it on a table. And uh, I think that was our best decision that we did was just use the hose clamps around their feet to hold the, hold the birds up. I'd do that again right now if I had to. And I didn't think hand plucking them was all that bad. Uh, you know, water temperature has to be correct to get the right scald. I think we were shooting for somewhere uh, in the... Between 140 and 180 if you were doing a machine pluck you don't want to get the temperature that high 180 is probably a little too high we did have some skin tearing in a few small locations but you know that doesn't take long for the water to cool off especially if you have a hose handy you can just put some you know ground temperature water in it you know, once anyway it cools that water down pretty quick we did not get a live weight on the turkeys and i wish that we could it just didn't work out for what we were trying to do when we were trying to do it dressed out in the bag in the freezer uh they the tom came in at 19.2 pounds and the two hens came in at 13.7 and 14 so basically we've got two 14 pound turkeys and a 19 pound turkey ready for thanksgiving dinner i'm super excited and we're ready to do this again next year if you've ever raised turkeys and have some helpful tips or tricks that you'd like to drop down in the comments, put them down there. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, and I'm sure everybody else is reading them too. Would you know? We'd all like to learn together. So drop those down below. If you want to see more about what we're trying to do here with growing our own food, you can watch that video. My name's Reagan. This is the GWP Homestead. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see y'all soon.